It has been 18 months since we last got together at SharePoint Fest in Chicago in December of 2019. That was my last conference before the pandemic started. And in the last 18 months, a lot has changed. But one thing that hasn't changed is the number of applications that are available when you have a license for Office 365. If you log into Office 365 and you go to the menu and you ask it to show you all the apps, you're going to see a screen with 30 or 40 some different apps on it. Many of those apps, you may not even know what they do, much less have ever used them. Worse yet, some of the apps seem to do the same thing as other apps. If you come join me at my workshop in July at SharePoint Fest in Chicago, we'll try and make some order out of that chaos. The workshop is entitled Office 365 Feature Explosion, What You Should Be Using. And what we're going to be doing is try to accomplish three things. First off, we will separate out all of the well-understood applications that you are already using, like SharePoint and OneDrive and Outlook and Word and the other Office applications. If you need help with those, there are going to be lots and lots of other workshops and sessions at SharePoint Fest in Chicago. We'll then take the remaining applications and we'll divide them up into different categories. And we'll take a look at the applications that seem to do the same things. And we'll try and make some sense out of which one you should be using when. We're going to do that by doing three things. First, we're going to do a brief demonstration of each application so that if you've never used it before, you'll get a chance to actually see it working. Second, we'll discuss the business case behind each of those applications. Because you don't want to just use an application because it's there. You want to use it to accomplish some business purpose. And finally, if you're an admin, and this may be the most important, we'll dig into the different administrative settings and controls that allow you to manage those applications and manage the users who are using them. So that users are not just inundated with all of these different applications and have no idea which one they should use and what they should use when. I really hope you'll join me in July at SharePoint Fest in Chicago, and we'll go through this workshop together. And by the time we're done, I hope you'll have a better understanding of all the different applications that are available in Office 365. See you in July.